Hello guys, welcome to part 5 of tutorial series on API Gateway Authorization. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how we can fetch access tokens and ID token, refresh token via hosted UI using authorization code grant and implicit grant. And now in this tutorial, I will take you through on how to create authorizer and configure the same within a given method. So let's get started, assuming that you already have logged in into AWS Management Console and navigate to API Gateway, finally. And once you are there, open the API endpoint that we have created probably in the part one of this tutorial series. So in my case, it's API Auth. And if you remember then we had also created post hyphen JSON resource with post method. So once you are there, click on authorizers from the left panel and click on create new authorizer. Now here we are going to configure the authorizer. So give the authorizer name, I will say API auth. Now within type, we have two options that authorize this API endpoint or API gateway using Lambda function or via Cognito. So we are going to select Cognito over here. Now within Cognito user pool, we have to select the user pool that we have created. So it will give you an option. So in our case, or at least in my case, it's API auth that I have to select. So select API auth. And then it's asking for token source and token validation. So token source is something that will pass within headers, right? So for example, I want to pass authorizer, right? And I can leave token validation as blank, but uh, what we can enter here is the regular expression. So if we click on this uh, icon, it says if defined, API Gateway can attempt to validate the incoming token using regular expression before authorizing with Cognito, right? So you can uh, mention the regular expression to validate your token over here. And within token source, if I click on this information icon, it says a header of your choosing to be sent from the request to the Cognito user pool as authorization, right? So you can uh, enter anything over here, uh, but I'm entering authorizer here, right? And say, create. Now the authorizer has been created successfully, but uh, this is not done to authorize our API endpoint. So once the authorizer is created, navigate to resources from the left panel, click on the method uh, with which you want to integrate or add the authentication, right? So in my case, it's post method within post hyphen JSON resource. Now, once you are there, click on method request. Now, if we look at method request, the auth uh, is defined as none, right? Because no authorizer has been configured over here. So click on method request. Now within authorization, click on this uh, pencil icon. Now, if you click on none, uh, it says AWS IAM. So it's not reflected yet. So maybe I need to refresh. So again, click on method request, uh, click on this pencil icon. Now I think it should reflect. And as you can see, it says Cognito user pool authorizers and there is API auth authorizer that we have just created. So select it and click on this tick mark. Now authorization has been configured successfully. Then we have to configure OAuth scopes. So right now uh, I'm going to leave it as none. And once you are done with the configuration of authorization, click on actions, say deploy API. Select the stage. So I have not created any stage. So I will create a new one. I will say version one. And I will leave stage description and deployment description as blank and say deploy. Right now the API endpoint has been deployed successfully and we have also configured 
authorizer within this post method right so well uh, that's it for now but uh, before i uh, wrap up this tutorial remember that we also need to configure this oauth scopes but that is something i will show you in the next tutorial so well that's it for now in the next tutorial i will cover how to access this api endpoint using tokens and we are also going to look at the scopes and how we can access it right so well as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time